Hi everybody, how are you? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm gonna start crying because I did it. <laughs> I, I'm about to finish school. I can't believe it. I just sent off, I'm just, I, oh, fuck, I'm so sorry. I just finished one of my, I have an exam tonight and I just finished my last, um, thing for my work placement. I'm about to graduate college at 32 years old and uh, I honestly could not be prouder. I have always had a problem in my life um, starting something and finishing it and it has been something that I have constantly been talked to about by my partner, by my parents, by teachers, by volunteers at fucking drop-in centers everywhere. And today, as I study for my last exam and I send off my final assignments, it makes me emotional on two levels. One, I made some of the best friends I'll have in my entire life. Um, Miss Debbie G, obviously, my number one, my ride or die. Thank you. Thank you for everything you helped me with in the last two years. We did it together and we fucking rocked it. There were things that you were great at and there was things that I was good at, but everything that you were great at seemed I wasn't and you pulled through. There were times where you did things for us that, that passed me. There were times where you sacrificed things to make sure that I had my shit done and if it wasn't for you, Stephanie, I would have never got through this two years. So thank you. To my professors. To the people who <laughs> gave me sleepless nights, real anxiety, and the encouragement to move on, to go on, to get my shit done. Hey, everybody in that brick building was in the same place, but some of you made me feel like I was more special or we built rapport together. I had this teacher, Lynn, and she has made me a writer, a writer. I'm a, I don't know how to write. I don't know grammar. I don't move people with what I say, but she showed me that I could, I can, and that is exactly what I do. Writing is one of my favorite things now and Without Lynn, I would never have gotten through it. <sighs> to Ryan. <laughs> Shit. I'm so sorry. Ryan, if it was not for you, there is no way I would have been able to do this. You supported me in everything. Mentally, physically, financially. You gave me everything. There were times where I didn't think I could do it. There were times where I didn't want to do it. But having your faith in me and your strength, I could have done anything. You are the love of my life. You are everything to me. And I can't wait to see what the next chapter brings. There were times when I was in school where I thought this is bullshit. Why the fuck am I doing this? And it didn't matter because at the end of the day, I fucking did it. I did it myself. I had people there to help me along the way and I had people who pushed me, but I did it. Nobody else did this. I did this. I did every assignment, every test, every questionnaire, every survey. I didn't skip class because I didn't want to go. I skipped class because I couldn't go. I was so sick semester four at the beginning. This is something that I am most proud of in my entire life. I don't know what else could top this. Maybe marrying my best friend, but honestly, that's 
This is probably the proudest I've ever been of myself. In life, you say you're going to do a lot of things, and, and sometimes you do them, and sometimes you don't. This was the one thing, I cannot stress this enough, this was the one thing I said, you're going to do it, and you're going to do it the best. High school? Fuck that. I didn't really apply myself in high school. In high school, I just needed to be loved. I was the only openly gay person, and I needed everyone to love me. So I was loud. I was funny. I was at that party everyone talks about. I made sure that everybody loved me, but I didn't make sure that my schoolwork was done. In college, when I paid for it, when I paid for everything, I made sure everything was done. Myself. I did this. I did this, guys. I fucking went back to school. I got great grades. I was on the fucking dean's list. Me. And now I'm about to graduate. I am about to go write my last exam. And I just wanted to reflect with you guys. I wanted to make a video. I wanted to shoot it. And I'm going to post it right away. You're going to be watching this this afternoon. And finally... I would like to thank myself, Bradley Michael Miles. I did it. I fucking did it. I don't know what I'm going to do afterwards. I really don't, but I don't care. I said to myself, you need to go back to school. You need to do something that's going to challenge you and make you happy. And for the past three years, but two years full time, I have been in school. I have been poorer than I've ever been. I have no money. My clothes are shit. And I don't have a Gucci backpack. But none of that matters. I've made great friends. And you know what? I'm not going to lie. I think I've lost some friends along the way because I couldn't make time for them. And if they're important, they'll be there this summer when I ask to hang out or when I finally make time. But I am so fucking proud of myself. Me. I am proud of me. <laughs> Semester 2, 8 a.m. classes every day. Up at 6 a.m. every day in class. Never late. Never fucking late. And as I reflect on every semester and every assignment and every teacher and every student that came across my life, you impact me. You changed me. I am not the same person I was the first day I walked into that school. You are all special, you are all amazing, and without this, we never would have finished together. Thank you for everything. Now, hopefully I do well in my last exam and I actually fucking graduate. It's impossible for me to not graduate. I've done so well. Anyways, I'm tired of crying. I'm just trying to speak my mind, maybe triple my views, you know, Cardi B. I love you all. Thank you for the kind words and the encouragement you have given me in the past two years. Thank you for everything. I, I'm just so grateful to be done, to have you in my life. Oh, I can't believe I did it and it's done. So thank you and uh, have a great fucking day. Be creative and be yourself. Bye guys.